Good morning, everyone. Uh, Vivek here. So today I want to record one episode. I'm going to start recording more episodes for the Thrifty Marketer podcast and the Thrifty Marketer Tales. So today it's going to be a controversial topic. It's why marketing and marketers are overhyped. You know, so uh, I, I love marketing. I am a marketer for the last 16, 17 years. And I strongly feel that, you know, it's it's kind of uh, the field is kind of getting overhyped, especially for small and medium business owners, right? When we talk, when you talk to a small and medium business owner, a startup founder, they think that marketing is kind of a rocket science or it's it's something which is very far-fetched. It's, it's, it's an impossible task for them to do. So I just wanted to understand uh, or share uh, my understanding of the reasons why marketing and marketers are overhyped. So if you if you think about marketing, what is marketing basically? If you look at it, it's 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 common sense, application of common sense, right? Uh, you know whom your product cater to or your service cater to. You tell your story in a most logical way so that they can understand. You focus on your target audience's challenges and problems, and you tell your story how you can help them solve those problems. Simple. That's marketing, right? It takes various forms and shapes and sizes. Uh, various tactics come in. Social media comes in. SEO comes in. There are lots, lot of things coming around. Uh, but the basic premise is this, right? You you have a target audience. You have a product and service. It solves a particular challenge. And how you solve them is the story you're going to tell, right? So that's that's basically uh, the uh, premise for marketing. Also, it's about connecting with customers, creating a community. How do you communicate? How do you create a community? Because you need to understand who your target audience is, cater useful information or entertaining information for them and connect to them in the right way. Not intruding them, right, etc. But connect them in the right way. And the most important part of marketing is addressing the needs of your target audience. You need to understand what are they struggling with and trying to help them, right? Everybody is busy in today's world, whether it is a B2B buyer or a B2C buyer, everybody is busy. They have their own uh, shit going on in their life. So a marketer's job is to, without intruding their privacy or their you know, at the right time, the right place, at the right and the right message. So that's that's basically that is what marketing is all about. Then comes the whole army or the Chitauri like Avengers, right? Whole army of marketers. So here are my five reasons why marketing is overhyped. Okay, so number one, there are too many fake marketers and influencers in the market. What, why do I say fake? Because they have, if, if, especially I'm talking about India, you know, if you look at the marketers who keep sharing a lot of knowledge or a lot of fake information around are those who have run, built their careers working in big brands, They're running ads for them. And they are using that as a platform to showcase themselves as an expert. They haven't done much but their stories are a whole different thing. So kids or young marketers or you rookie marketers, they fall in their traps. They listen to them. They adopt what they preach and they start their career in the wrong foot. So that's not the case. That's not the right way. So that is number one reason. That's why. And these people create such an image that Everybody wants to emulate them. They want to be like them. And, you know, these, these influencers flying on jets, etc., etc. They, they all belong to marketing, online marketing, to be precise. So don't fall into their trap. Stay away from them. Learn basics. Implement it. See results for yourself. Learn your, from your mistakes and move on. That's number one. Number two, the entry point to be a marketer is kept at very bare minimum. If you look at, there was, there was a saying once about a time in Bangalore, if you go to Bangalore, if you th pick a stone and throw, pretty sure it will hit an uh, engineer, an engineer, right? So that's a similar case with marketing right now. If you go to LinkedIn and search for digital marketers, I'm pretty sure there will be millions of billions of, I don't know, millions of them. 
So the minimum entry point, the, the entry point to become a marketer is very, very low. You know, anybody can start a Facebook account and say that I'm a marketer. Anybody can run a Google Ads campaign and say that I'm a marketer, right? But you're not. You're not. That's the truth. So the entry point is so low. There are a lot of snake oil salesmen or snake oil marketers running around and saying that I'm a marketer. I've done this. I've done that. So the bare minimum entry point creates a lot of inefficient marketers out there. That's another reason for the overhype around marketing number three agencies there are agencies for every area of marketing be it seo agency content marketing agency it can be influencer marketing agency all these agencies have created a facade which they want for them to charge more money they have created this aura that marketing is rocket science only special people blessed by maybe Philip Kotler only can do it. That's not the truth. Anybody can be a marketer, right? That's the whole purpose of marketing. Anybody can promote their business by becoming a marketer themselves. Any small business owner, I repeat, any small and medium business owner can be a marketer himself or herself to promote their business, right? So these agencies, since they want to charge thousands of dollars, they create this aura that SEO, Toughest thing to do. You cannot do it by yourself. Come to us. Come to us. That's not the truth. Again, overhype. That's the reason number three. Reason number four, there are too many big terms thrown around in marketing, right? For example, influencer marketing, global marketing, micro marketing, local SEO. You know, there are so many, so many terms thrown around any person running a business, any entrepreneur will get scared by listening to this, right? The moment you reach out to any agency today, they will start saying, throwing words around influencer marketing. You should get into influencer marketing. You should talk to micro influencer, macro influencer. You should get into Instagram ads. You should get into PPC ads. You should retarget. All these terms are just terms. 80% of them you may not even need for marketing your business, right? So ignore these facts. This is just to create an overhype about the marketing. And marketing is such a field, every day something new comes up, right? And people, especially agency owners and these so-called influencers want to create a FOMO for you, right? FOMO is nothing but fear of missing out. They want to create that if you don't catch this bus, you're going to dox. That's not the truth, right? Your business may not even need 80%, 90% of this, you know, it, it, it may not need that. It may just need content. It may just need SEO. It may need just a website. It may just need an email newsletter. You never know. So ignore these terms, focus on your customer, understand your customer, talk to your customer, what they prefer and cater to that, right? That's uh, overhype reason number four. Oh, last reason, you know, it's, it's since... Marketing is directly connected to revenue, right? Any business growth is accelerated or propelled by marketing. It's become a necessary evil, right? So that's the message preached to all of the entrepreneurs out there. Marketing is a necessary evil. You, without this, you will go to doom, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody, since it's connected to revenue, people have this fear of missing out. If I don't do marketing, I may not survive, right? That it's, it's true in most of the cases, you need good marketing for building a brand, building a customer community, growing your revenues, etc. Et I completely agree with that. But since it's directly connected to revenue, all these fake influencers and agencies and all these so-called marketers, they use it for creating the overhype. So being a marketer, I'm sorry to call these out, but marketing and marketers are literally overhyped. So as a business owner, I will tell you one thing, know your customers well, understand what problems of your customers are your product or service solving, tell that story. Tell in the way you like, it's your brand, build your brand. You can do it yourself. You don't need any $10,000 agency or $10,000 tool to do stuff, right? So. Please, please, please don't believe, don't buy into this overhype of marketing and marketers and let's do good marketing. Thank you. See you in the next edition of 
Thrifty Market Podcast or Thrifty Market Tales. Thank you.